Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Sarah and I used to be a bedside nurse for 15 years. Today I want to talk about why I quit my six-figure job as a nurse in the ICU working at one of the top hospitals in the U.S. and do I regret it. So if you've been following the news at all recently and if you haven't seen my old video that I made like two months after actually quitting being a nurse and kind of like airing all my frustrations I kind of want to like rewind a little bit and give like an updated view on the situation now that I've been away from the bedside for three and do I still feel the same way I did about working in a hospital that I had when I left three years ago and if you are a nurse drop me a comment if you're watching this because you want to leave bedside, if you're frustrated, if you're burnt out. Okay, first things first, let's just talk about do I regret quitting my job? And especially with this last year of what's going on, I've had not like a ton, but I have had questions on, oh, Sarah, are you gonna go back to help with the current situation of what is going on in hospitals and the ICUs being completely full? hospitals being overrun and do I feel it's my like obligation as a nurse to go work in the hospitals again. First of all, I'm just going to tell you no I, no, I do not feel that I have any obligation to go back to the hospital. Going right back into a situation that was so toxic three years ago, do I think that the nursing world has gotten better? I guess that's a better question, which is 100% zero. I do not think it's gotten any better. I actually have think it's gotten worse and I feel super happy that I left when I did because I think, I think it's getting, it. well, I mean, I don't even think, I just know it's getting worse just after watching what happened last year with running out of PPEs for nurses, running people, management telling you to reuse your PPEs and I know you're like, maybe you're watching this and you're like, Sarah, you haven't been in the hospital in three years, how do you know? So just because I haven't been in the hospital doesn't mean that I don't have friends. Because when you're a nurse for that long, almost, almost all of your friends are nurses. So I do not plan on going back to the hospital unless, I don't know, unless something happens and then I decide to go back. And I don't know, after all these nursing videos and someone watches this, they're gonna be like, we're not hiring you which is completely fine. But I do think that is really important to talk about the issues that are happening in the hospital. Because when I had left, I had foreseen a lot of problems that were happening. You know, it's from management not caring. It's from the higher ups in the hospital. You are just a nurse. And we used to have a joke in the hospital about if you have a pulse, we will hire you. So we'd all be like, ah, oh, we got a pulse today. Guess we're good to go to work because they don't really care. But yet on the flip side, every little tiny thing you do, and if one nurse maybe, because nurses come in all ranges, right? There are amazing nurses and there are horrible nurses. No matter where you work, in any job, this is not just nursing, in any job, there's always that one person. You're like, why do you even bother coming to work today? Do you care? And that is across the board in a lot of my old video, I will link it up here, a lot of my old video commented like, oh, most nurses hate their jobs, most nurses suck, like a lot of people like hating on the nursing world. It, I don't wanna be here hating on the nursing world because most nurses, we went into this because we care. Or, okay, and I had comments about, oh, nurses only care about money, which is completely, I mean, yes, we all care about money, but this is like, if you're a CEO of a hospital or if you're a CEO of a bank, I mean, you need money to survive. So do nurses care about money? Yes, of course we care. Do you go to work to just make money if you have a job that you hate? Yes. So this is not just nursing. So those people who comment nurses are blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but you can say that about any, any job that you have. It just so happens that if you're a nurse and you're good at your job, you have the potential to work a lot of different jobs and get more raises and get more money, but you have to be good at your job. 
they're not gonna keep, if you're a per diem nurse and you work like registry and then you suck, they're not gonna, well, okay, you have a pulse, so they probably will keep using you, but as soon as a nurse comes along who might be a slightly better, they're not gonna use you anymore. So it's like anything. If you suck at your job, you suck at your job. If you're good at your job, you're always gonna be more valuable to whatever you're doing. I was a waitress for a really long time before I became a nurse, well, all through college, and was I good at my job? Yes, I was good at my job because I'm a hard worker. And I'm not saying this to be like an e having an egotistical, like I'm good at things. No, I'm saying it because I put effort and time into learning something and I put effort and time into learning my patients and I put effort and time into learning how to communicate with patients and doctors and the medical staff. So my job, when I was a nurse, I was good at my job. So I would maybe not have bad days. My bad days were probably better than some people's bad days, but I would always try to look at the bright side. One thing that I've never denied is my patients. I love my, I've loved every single one of my patients I've ever had. Okay, maybe like one or two I've not loved, but I always find a way to figure out how to make my day good. And if I make my patients day good, my day is gonna be good. So you have to learn how to work with people and working with people in anything. If you're a waitress, if you're a nurse, if you are freaking working at a bank and you deal with customer service, if you're teaching English online, you need to learn how to work with people. So, but this brings us back to the situation at the hospitals. This has nothing to do with whether you're a good nurse or not. This has to do with like the higher ups, like nurses, we are put in the middle of everything. If your patient has a procedure and you have 800 people calling you, you are the point of contact. A lot of times, if that person on the other end is having a frustrating day, they're going to take it out on the nurse. If this person is having a frustrating day, they're going to take it out on the nurse and then the doctor and the residents and your coworkers and your this and then giving or don't even get me started on giving a report because if your night nurse comes in and you didn't do something, you have to remember it's a 24 hour freaking job. You are not expected to do everything, but yet we as night nurses or day nurses, we are like, why didn't you finish every like why didn't you get this patient ready to leave in 10 weeks like it just doesn't work like that so shift report even to this day thinking about it i've been away from bedside for three years i have anxiety thinking about giving sh night shift report to certain nurses because that's how dramatic <laughs> it can be sometimes it's like no no like sally i didn't i didn't clean the patient who just pooped five minutes ago when it's six like it's like 7.15 and she was clean at 6.59. Did I clean that patient? No, I'm giving you report right now. So us nurses, we can be a bit harsh. Um, we can be a pain in the ass, which yes, is true, even me. But anonymous, because when you're in the hospital and the manager's like, oh, you forgot to update your whiteboard. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock, because my patient over there has been on her call late for five hours. That patient needs pain meds. That patient's on, in the toilet and I can't leave because my, my CNA is also busy in another room. And the other nurses are busy. So like, you just can't do everything. You can't do everything as a nurse. And they expect you that you can. And then, oh yeah, don't forget, uh, they're rounding on your patient around the corner and you need to be there because the doctor will call. The doctor there is asking for the nurse when you're like, my patient might fall. And they're like, oh no, we'll watch him. And then they don't, what if they don't watch your patient? I've had peep, my patients fall out of bed when I've been standing outside the room talking to a doctor, being like, I need to watch my patient. And then my patient falls. And then of course it's my fault because I was talking to the doctor. So you're like, well, I, you, you can't win either way. Basically you can't win. So what are we gonna do about this situation? I don't know. Nurses, we need to reunite for sure. We need to speak up and I am glad I see a lot of people on YouTube speaking up about it or like showing their nurse life kind of. But the thing is, is a lot of nurses is that we're not speaking up is that what we're doing instead is we're advancing our careers and becoming nurse practitioners or CRNAs or going into different fields. And I know you're like, well, I don't want to talk, speak up about it because then I get, oh, I'm like the naughty nurse and I'm like saying bad things and no one's going to hire me. But I mean, I don't know. I think to change the world, you have to speak up. And just because you speak up, you know, there are consequences, yes. And I mean, I don't know. I guess since I'm not working, I can do it. I would probably do it anyways because I'm kind of a blabbermouth and I, I don't like to see things that 
make me unhappy. But anyways, I'm really glad there's a whole people, all these people quitting their jobs, realizing their worth, and I'm really happy. And it's not just in nursing because just because I'm a nurse, there are problems everywhere, everywhere, places. So as if you're an employee and you have people, I've worked for really some really good companies and I was working for a remote company that the owner was amazing to all his employees and he was great. So sometimes it just happens. I've worked for some good companies and I've worked for some bad companies. I've worked for some really good hospitals and some really bad hospitals. And it's, you know, everyone wants to work for the good hospital, but it's not always possible because they're not in every country. They're not in every state. So, or you live in rural middle of nowhere, Missouri, and there's like one hospital and you have, it's like, you're a nurse, what are you gonna do? You have to feed your family. So I don't know. I'm just rambling now because I just like to think about things. And I know there are there are people who are speaking up, but they also turn it into, when you make things funny about abuse in the nursing world or abuse in relationships or abuse in, when you, you and yeah, they're funny because they're true. But yet, when we make them funny, does that make them better or worse? I don't know. Yeah, like you can make fun of like how difficult this is, but in real life, making it funny, does that make it better or does it make it worse? Is it making it a joke? Oh, these nurses are ha ha ha. Look at what we deal with. Yeah, it's funny because it's true. But just because it's funny because it's true, they'll now what are you going to do? You know? So I don't know. I'm not going to make being abused by your employees funny because it's not funny. Um, and if you are an employee, I encourage you to pay. I think I read an article yesterday about they're offering to pay nurses $2.70 more an hour to come in extra or something. Like, like that's a joke. Like, that's just a joke. And knowing that, I don't know, it's just, a, it just seems like a joke to me. Like, they don't take your livelihood, your dedication to your profession. They don't take it seriously. So why shouldn't you quit? Why shouldn't you go work for a better hospital? Why shouldn't you go to that hospital who's paying $20,000 sign on bonus? So what? You leave after a year. I'm sure you still got like 10,000 of it. You're going to get half of it. Maybe you work there six months and you're like, oh, this does suck. But you have, I think my main, the main takeaway for you is you have to be okay walking away from something that is no longer serving you in order to open the new door. And I know it's so cheesy and you're like, oh, when one door closes, the other one opens. But let me just tell you, it, it's cheesy. It's crazy. It's stupid to say that, but it's also true. Because when you put yourself first and you step into the unknown, and I know in nursing, it's like better to have the devil you know than the devil you don't. But is it really? Like, is it really? I walked away from a six figure, like, I think I was making my last, I almost made $200,000 for the past two years in my last nursing job. And it is because I work a lot. I was burnt out. I worked like six, seven days a week. I had three jobs. And not because I got paid so much at one hospital, because I had multiple jobs. So, but that's what you do as a nurse. You just work, 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 buy, 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 work, buy, work, buy, work, buy. So, but I realized that that was not serving me. I was depressed, unhappy. I think I like look 10 years older. Now I feel like, now I feel way better knowing that I can live off less. I still don't have a family. I don't have kids, which is a whole different video. Um, but yeah, know your value and knowing that walking away from something is okay. This is like your permission slip to walk away from it. If it's no longer serving you because you will find something that is. You might find working, maybe you might work at a hospital that's not as great and you might take a little bit of a pay cut but your manager is going to treat you like a human being. Your manager is going to say, oh, we're short. We're going to actually hire more people. But yes, we have to, maybe you won't get paid as much, but slowly and slowly you will probably, they will maybe figure out ways to get you more money if they see that you're worth it. And I don't know, I just am the optimistic, hoping and seeing that if you deliver value, then you're going to be recompensated for that. But also ask. This is a huge thing. Like you need to ask for what you want because nurses, we don't ask for what we want. 
Like, so you need to ask, or if you are going back to school and getting your master's, you know, you're going to get paid more or, but going into the nurse practitioner world, is that any better? I don't know. It's not my world. I don't really have any friends that are doing it that I talk to. Um, this is mainly for bedside nurses because that's all I know. I don't know anything else. I don't know about the master's world. I don't know, but is it any better? I don't know, probably because you're at a different level. But also, I don't know, maybe doctors are getting overworked too and doctors are like, oh, we're overworked too. Maybe you are. If you're a doctor, comment below if you're being overworked too because I know there are YouTubers who are doctors who have left doctoring, doctoring. Um, so leave me a comment. I don't know if this makes sense. I tend to ramble a lot, but drop me a comment. We all also need to unite together, and this is why, like, I know a lot of nurses are leaving bedside right now. Actually, it's not just nurses. We're seeing that if you're treated like crap at your employment, this is like going down into the great resignation right now. If you're treated like crap at your job, should you quit? Yes, 100% you should quit because there is going to be somebody else who's not going to treat you like crap. And this is a huge thing about you need to know your value. I knew my value, but I also, the hospital I was at was a very good hospital. It was probably the best hospital I've ever worked at. And I still walked away because I knew that I no longer wanted to do it. But as a nurse, we do get abused by patients, by families, by doctors, by management, by a lot of people. and when you're in that situation you need to just start saying no i'm not putting up with this anymore and that is what hap what is happening nurses we are have been in a shortage since i've been a nurse that's why if you have a pulse you will get hired as a nurse i think maybe now it's changing but if you have a little bit of experience for new grad nurses it's always tough getting a job but i think right now because there's an even bigger shortage so i think people are realizing is my health worth coming to a job that doesn't appreciate me. We are understaffed all the time. And when you're understaffed, it hurts not only the nurse because you're gonna get burned out quicker, it hurts the patient. They're not gonna get the care they need and then they're gonna give you a bad review and then your press gainy scores are gonna go down and then the Medicare is not gonna cover and then the hospital's not gonna get insurance. So and they're like, oh, it's, it's the nurse. Okay, okay, little Sally over there. It's the nurse's fault because we're understaffed and I can't do my job properly. So do I feel the exact same way as I did three years ago? 100% yes, because I think, and what are we gonna do about this situation? I have no idea because, well, I'm not really there right now. I've kind of checked out of that world, but do I still keep like my ear on what's going on? Of course, because all my friends are nurses. So does this affect me? Yes, because all my friends are there and dealing with it. And for so long, my friends have called me and like for uh, one of my jobs that I've done, I did like nurse counseling, um, which I actually really like. Um, I like talking to nurses and kind of figure out what's going on and like give them healthy solutions. But something that doesn't work, that only is a, that's a bandaid. I mean, it really comes down to if you're a traveling nurse, make sure that you do your job appropriately because they will fire you at the beat of a like that they don't care if you are staff nurse and you're not at a union hospital they'll fire you like that and 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 I, it's just like i don't really know what the answer is but i do know that right now it's probably worse than when i did leave three years ago so i am really happy that i left because i think if i didn't leave three years ago my burnout would be so bad that it would be like i would be afraid to be honest, I've worked at hospitals have been understaffed. I, at one point, worked at a hospital where I had nine patients on night shift. This was a long time ago, but I'm 100% sure that this still happens in certain states. And no, probably not in California, but California is an exception. Like, if you're a nurse, you should definitely go to California, but then that leaves other states short. I mean, I used to talk to nurses from like Louisiana and they would have seven, eight patients on night shift. And then when that patient crawls and falls out of bed, it's the nurse's fault. But you have eight other patients to take care of. So let's blame that one poor nurse who's probably like run ragged all night long for all her patients. And then there's the thing of like, you have a CNA and that CNA has 
20 patients or 15 patients. So it's not the responsibility of the nurse or the CNA. It's the responsibility of the management and the higher up, actually above management. Management can only do so much because my friend's a manager and she, I know, works really hard, but she is probably an exception of, because she was a waitress like me and we're kind of very similar. But it's definitely up to the higher ups to pay they need to take money out of their stupid budget and maybe take some pay cuts in this if you're a ceo of a hospital you need to take a pay cut and you need to pay your nurses and you need to staff up you especially right now when you have patients who are really 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 i mean patients have been really sick for a long time but of course now they're even sicker because we have a new disease added in plus all the other so like just because one disease came doesn't mean all the other diseases went away so that means you have a new one that's taking up most of the hospital and then you have all these other ones patient patients still need lung transplants they still need like surgery they still need if you have a stroke or if you have a heart attack these patients didn't just all of a sudden disappear so these patients are still there hospitals are still like busy they're just busier than normal and now more nurses don't want to go to work we know that we're not going to go work somewhere that's going to take advantage of us and give me 10 patients on night shift or give me three icu patients when i should only have one or two even when i was working at the hospital when we had good staffing if someone calls out sick you don't have staff and then they're going to show throw in a registry nurse and sometimes you're like oh well they don't know what's going on but you just and one thing that i've noticed when i was a charge nurse I would get registered nurses and sometimes registered nurses they aren't going to know your system so a lot of times nurses are so mean to them and i've done registry and i would like go out of my way to do a good job because i know i'm new and i know that i don't know the system but i would have to figure it out but you also have to give them leeway they're coming in to help you out so you really need to be nice to them because if you're nasty to them they're not going to come back they're going to go somewhere else so even though you might be like, oh, this registry nurse sucks, it's still someone helping you out. And I know sometimes they're more work than they're worth, but when it boils down to it, they're still there. And maybe if you're nice to them, they will come work and they will get to know your system and give them a couple weeks and they will be better because you're never good when you first start anything. Like you always are gonna suck at everything in the beginning. Even if this nurse has been a registry nurse for 15 years, maybe she is new to your hospital and every hospital is different. Every hospital has their stupid checklist that they want you to do which is usually impossible and they want you to do more charting than ever before i'm sure i'm not even don't even know but i can guarantee you that you're doing more charting than you did when i was there because now you have this and you have i'm sure insurances are paying less because if you don't do this and your patient gets a bed sore and maybe you don't have a lift team and maybe you are so you've worked like i don't know it's just i don't know okay drop me a comment if i'm wrong but the main thing is is like do i regret it a hundred thousand percent no i am willing to work for my own business for myself making less money and finding figuring a ways out like teaching english online or writing like doing freelance work or figuring out how to do something one thing i want to tell you save your money stop this has like been a lot of this channel is kind of around is stop buying shit just stop because if you stop buying you will stop having to work on that cycle that hamster wheel like the matrix you're stuck in the cycle of buying debt buying debt you just like in the circle so and if you're going to work and you're buying crap and then you're trying to pay it off you're stuck in this vicious cycle so the one thing that you need to do is stop. You just need to stop buying stuff. That is the easy, the, the best solution. Stop buying stuff and start putting money into savings. I'm not telling you where to invest money, but I'm saying start saving your money. Don't buy that new car. Don't do things like don't try to keep up with the Joneses. I mean, in the US, we have this thing and we have to have all these things. But if you're unhappy and you want to change your life and you're working in the hospital and you're a nurse, I mean, also start documenting on YouTube because I know that people want to know what's going on. And there are very few nurses that speak out. And yeah, maybe you're thinking, oh, Sarah, you're hurting your future career if you do want to go back to the hospital. You know what? Maybe I am. And But I'm okay with that because I know that it's a problem and it's a problem that needs to be solved because we do need nurses. People are not getting healthier. People are getting worse. And maybe they're like, oh, we need nurses that 
keep their mouth shut. Well, you know what? Then that's, I don't think I would ever want to go back to work if I was working with those nurses who, if you see some, if you see, it's like, if you see something, say something. So if you see a problem, say something. Don't walk by someone who needs something or needs help or is dying on the street. Um, even like, I mean, I've always, if someone, you just have to, you have to speak up because if no one's speaking up, it's never going to get better. And you're like, yeah, it's going to hurt me working. We'll stop buying stuff. So maybe if you don't have to work all the time and you have time to be more present with what you're doing. So mainly the, the main takeaway is, is I do not plan on going back to bedside anytime soon. There are lots of other things that you can do. I mean, I, just because people think just because you're a nurse you can't do anything else that is a complete lie that is something that the gods of nursing have told you or in nursing school they tell you i mean we all know nursing school sucks i mean i hate it and i think i cried every day and uh it's just something like oh you're a nurse you're always a nurse no look at how many people, other people change careers in their life but when you're a nurse and you quit they think oh my god what are you gonna do now like hi look at all these jobs and now there are even more jobs and there are more jobs online and you can recreate and reinvent yourself all the time. But we are just so scared. We're always so scared in the nursing world. We're so scared we're not gonna have a job, which is incomplete bullshit that I don't even know where that came from, where that started or whatever. But anyways, moral stories, you can do anything you want. You can walk away from a situation that is no longer serving you. If your hospital is understaffed and short staffed, why are you staying? And I know you're like, well, if I leave, then they're short staff. They don't really care. Trust me. They do not care about you. They're going to be like, next person has a pulse. Next. They don't care. And if your manager does care and you have a great manager, maybe you work for my friend, and then great. You are one of the few fortunate people. And do, should you stay if you have a great manager and a great team? Yes, but if you're unhappy, then no. Never do something that makes you unhappy or stresses you out or burns you out. And if you need a vacation and they aren't willing to give it to you, then can you walk away? Yes, because I think they need to take into consideration burnout is real. And if you don't get proper time to heal, and then if you don't get proper time to heal in a break, you're never going to, you aren't, you, it's just not healthy for you. So be okay walking away from situations that are no longer serving you. Do I regret reg Do I regret quitting my job three years ago? No, not at all. I actually, it was the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. And I am so happy now. And it's just so much different. My life is so much different. And learning that you don't need as much as you think you need is a huge eye opener for me and that I don't have to go to a job where they're abusive is even better. And not that my old job was abusive. It was great. But that doesn't mean I didn't dread shift report. I didn't dread certain things about it or going to certain units. But yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in. Drop me a comment. Are you a nurse? Are you unhappy? What are you going to do about it? Are you a nurse and you're willing to step stand up? Have you been victimized or a victim of your opinions? Drop me a comment. Do you also think that when they make fun of nursing, it's not cool? Drop me a comment. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you guys next time.